Hello again, I am Blunty and I am currently testing out my newest toy, entertainment device, thingamadoodler, the uh, Dell version, variety, of the uh, Windows Mixed Reality headset. First things first, it's not Mixed Reality. These cameras on the front are for tracking the controllers, one of which I've just lost tracking of. Oh, oh, there it is. I'm having a little bit of... No, so, I'm in Steam. Steam VR. The... Uh, uh, the drivers or whatever for getting this thing to work in SteamVR are currently in beta. So sometimes it may bug out a little bit. One of the bugs I'm seeing is sometimes my left controller just decides not to track properly. Hasn't happened in the game yet. So not really a big issue, just slightly annoying in my little virtual room here where we make the selections and things. <sighs> also testing out uh, green screen type of situation so I can do VR demos, playthroughs, reviews, things like that while being on screen so you can get a sort of a reference for how I'm moving versus how the game is looking. So, bit of an experiment. Today, I think we'll uh, we'll start out with Space Pirate. Why not? It's the classic kind of test case for uh, VR. You see it all the time on show floors, I guess. Also useful because it's a type of game where it means these things are out of sight of my headset. I was going to say, yeah, the camera's on this headset. They're for tracking the controllers, not for actually looking at the environment around you or anything like that. So it's not it's it's not mixed reality in any sense. It is virtual reality. It's a VR headset, but it means unlike the HTC Vive, I don't have to have any tracking devices around my room, and unlike the Oculus Rift, I don't have any cameras set up around my room to track the controllers and the headset. Everything is within the headset. The headset itself tracks the controllers. Uh, and why this game is important for testing at is. Sometimes your controllers have to leave your field of view. If you're shielding over here and shooting over here, it needs to still track that even when it's out of sight of the headset. So, let's get going. Uh, go Explorer. How about that? I have never tried Space Pirate Simulator. Um, how do I turn that under shield again? Turn the cinema shield again. I've forgotten how to turn the cinema shield. Oh, it's like this. There we go. Funny just installed this and I forgot how to play it. <laughs> I turned it on briefly to test it. And I forgot about the shield. So. Uh, what you saw there? Put it behind my back, bring it up. Gun. Shield. Gun. Shield. And as you can see there, the headset is actually able to track the controllers when they're out of sight. And it does this. Ah, it does this because the controllers themselves have motion tracking in them. So you get the most accurate control when it's in front of your face. But it can track it behind you if it needs to. Whoa! Uh, which I will also show you uh, in a second when we go to do some uh, other stuff with arrows that I put behind my back and stuff like that. Whoops! Let me do that. Oh. Have a little bit of trouble there messing around. <laughs> Boosh. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have triggered that one yet. Oh no, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. That was a bit awkward. Yeah. Now this is actually the game I demoed this uh, Dell headset with at... Damn it! 
at uh, PAX Australia a few months back. They were running it off a little laptop. Probably a Dell laptop, obviously. And it had some performance issues, which I can now confirm were the laptop, not the headset, because I'm seeing no slowdown at all. You may be seeing some stutter in the capture, in the way I'm using OBS to capture this, because I'm using a plugin to try and capture this directly and cleanly as possible. There are a few different ways you can capture VR. This is the cleanest one, or at least it should be the cleanest one. And I might do a video on the different kinds of setups. Jeez! Oh, box. the best I've ever done, wave 14. Oh. Might have knocked my microphone there. Sorry about that. Still looking for a good way to mount my microphone on the headset. I'm dead. Too late. You high score though. Woo. So, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, uh, let me just, uh, ah, do that. Very, very loud. Sorry if I was yelling into the microphone trying to yell over the sound of the, uh, game there. I have to fix up the game volume. <laughs> also, I don't know how I mixed it in OBS, so that might have been too loud for me to hear, or you to hear me anyway, so that's all part of the, the test. Anyway, so these track really well. Even when they have to go behind your back to change weapons, they don't have to have, I mean, you're not grabbing anything. You don't have to see what you're grabbing when you do that, so the motion tracking is enough to sort of do that. And when I was playing the... Um, one of the Steam VR games, what is it, the, the Steam Labs or whatever it is, or the bow and arrow thing, which I'll show you about in another video, or this video, depending on how long this one is. Um, you can actually swipe your, uh, uh, your, 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 your arrow behind you to light it in the fire, bring it back, put it in the bow, and it tracks perfectly. So for those of you worried about how will these things track, well, that's what these series of videos are about. But thanks for watching. I'm Lunty. Hopefully this works so I can upload it. Please siren emails coming in. I, 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 I should have prepared more carefully. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Bloody. I'll catch you next time.